Hello, everyone. Welcome to my presentation. My name is Yu Ge from Communication Systems Group in the Department of Electrical Engineering at the Charles University of Technology in Sweden. I will introduce our paper. The topic is 5T slime with low complexity channel estimation. Our authors are Yu Ge, Fan Jiang, Mei Feng Zhu, Wu Xi Wen, Leonard Swenson, and Hank Wilmush. Our courses are either from Charles University of Technology in Sweden or Lund University, also in Sweden. Here, I would like to thank the Wallenberg AI Autonomous Systems and Software Program to support my work. This is a picture from downtown Singapore. Let's suppose we have a base station with many antennas on the top of this building. There is a user equipment here, also with many antennas. This is a signal sent from the base station to the user. The signals can also go over the complex propagation environments. As you can see, they can bounce by the objects and generate multicast. And the question we want to answer is the following. Suppose one base station can send signals to the user. Can we estimate the channel information with the relatively low complexity using the received signal? Can a user determine its position and synchronize with the base station and perhaps find additional information like its orientation? And can we also provide with the like maps of the environment by using those channel information? So we want to solve this problem with 5G technologies. The picture on the right is the same as the one we had in the downtown Singapore, but more mathematical. Here, we have a base station, and we already know where it is. Here, we have a vehicle with unknown position, unknown heading, and unknown collect bears. The signal sent from the base station to the user could be the light site as showed in this green line. Those signals could also be bounced in the environment. For example, the signals can be bounced by some surfaces like a wall and then reach the user. But the thing is, when the user moves, where the signal hits the wall also moves. So we parameterize the surface with so-called virtual angle, which is a reflection of the base station with respect to the surface. It is fixed. So when the user is moving, even though the instant point is moving, but the virtual angle is still static. This is what the signal looks like at the user site. This is the typical millimeter wave observation model in the literature. This BK is the same signal by the base station, and each channel is described as a channel gain, a response vector at the receiver site, which is depend on the angles of arrival, and the response vector at the transmitter site, which is depend on the angles of departure and the delay. At the receiver side, you can have this kind of combiner, which basically makes the receiver listen to the certain direction. Given the observation YT and the knowledge of the sense signal and the combiner, the channel estimator can recover the geometric information, like the delays, angles of arrival, and angles of departure. Given those angles and the delays, we then need to figure out what is the vehicle state and also map the environment. Now, the challenge is that the channel estimation usually entails high complexity. However, we always prefer the channel estimator that can provide accurate estimations with the low complexity, especially when used in positioning and mapping. In order to use the received safety signal to localize the user and reconstruct the map of the environment, we basically need to follow this framework. We do channel estimation for the received signal to have those delays and angles. And because each landmark could give more than one measurement, we need to group the delays and angles based on the sources. Here, we would use the variation of the DB scan algorithm to cluster those measurements according to the landmarks. Then we follow the raw black wires method. We use the list of particles with weights to present the user states and then there is a map of the environment conditioned on each particle. Every time step, the SLAM filter uses the motion model, channel estimations, and the likelihood computations to estimate the user state, number of landmarks, landmarks positions, and then their types. The deep use of the 5D SLAM framework could be found in this paper. As we can see, the first step in the framework is the channel estimation which is very important for the framework. 
Canal estimation can explore to receive the signal with the mathematized components in terms of delays and angles, which can be used in localization and mapping. Channel estimation methods for millimeter wave can be categorized as search based and search free channel estimation. Search based methods require an exhaustive search in the high dimensional space of channel parameters, which entails high complexity, such as music, the maximum likelihood, and the comprised sensing techniques. Search free methods directly provide estimates of channel parameters. Thus, they avoid the need for high dimensional optimization such as matrix or tensor decomposition based discrete methods. In our previous work, we use the colonic coloadic decomposition based tensor discrete, that is CPT discrete channel estimator. Although the CPT discrete channel estimator provides a very accurate estimation, it is a tensor decomposition based method. Thus, it is very computational demanding compared with the matrix decomposition based method. As I said, the good channel estimator is very essential for this lamp in work. So can we have a high accurate estimations, but with a low complexity? The answer is yes. I will firstly introduce the parametric channel estimation. We can generalize the high dimensional channel model to the data model presented in the first equation. The expression perfectly matches the data model used in the classical multidimensional harmonic retrieval problem. Specifically, the multidimensional angular frequencies account for the angles of arrival, angles of departure, and the delay in each path. In another words, as long as we recover the angular frequencies, the channel parameters can be estimated with the given relationship. An efficient angular frequency estimation method can be used of the multidimensional discrete algorithm. After the angular frequencies are estimated, the complex thing for each path can be estimated using this square method. Therefore, we transform the hand dimensional channel estimation problem to the parametric channel estimation. This is the flowchart of lambda discrete algorithm. For the algorithm, it requires channel measurements, each hat, the dimensions, MN, the random vector, gamma, the total number of the different paths, P. Firstly, the algorithm constructs the multi-level Henkel matrix S of H hat, and then performs the SVD of S of H hat, and then form the signal subspace matrix US theta with the leading P singular vectors. And then compute this matrix theta K with these two equations, and then perform eigenvalue decomposition of this theta K, and use the matrix theta T to compute the matrix theta psi, and then we can estimate the angular frequencies from this theta psi. The major complexity of this approach comes from the SVD of S of H hat, which is a multi-level angle matrix. For the SVD of this multi-level angle matrix, we can use our low complexity implement algorithm. As a result, the complexity of the SVD of the multi-level angle matrix can be significantly reduced. Therefore, the overall complexity is reduced to P M log M, where P is the number of the multipath and M is the product of M N in all dimensions. For the low complexity implement algorithm for the SVD, it has two steps. The first step is Langzos by diagonalization for general matrix A with a dimension of M by N. Langzos by diagonalization can on two matrices U1 and V1 with normalized orthogonal column vectors to transform A to a real diagonal matrix. As shown in this equation, where B is an upper bidiagonal matrix. The second step is the SVD. In this step, we further perform the SVD of the bidiagonal matrix B. Since B is a real bidiagonal matrix, the SVD of B can be implemented with n square computations. And we let U equals to U1 multiplied with U2. And then the signal subspace matrix is the leading P columns of U. This figure shows our simulation environment. There is a base station, has a triangle here, and four different surfaces, with the virtual angles are located at least four stars. And the vehicle drives around the base station with a constant rate. The transmitter and the receiver are both implemented with an 8 by 8 and an array. The SLAM filter is based on the PMBM filter. 
More details about the filter and the parameters can be found in our paper. We firstly study on the accuracy of the channel estimations. We show the results of the MD split channel estimator for a media rock surface, which generated to a specular pad and 100 diffusion pads. To visualize the channel estimator output, we projected those angles and the delays into 3D points. The result is shown in this figure, where the original diffusion pads are marked with the blue dots, and the estimated heights are marked with the red points. We observe that the channel estimators only return six pads, much less than the original 101 pads, due to the finite resolution of the receiver. All projected points are very close to the surface, and there is a projected point very close to the deterministic reflection points. This is because the specular pads of the media rough surface has larger power than the other diffusion pads. So it is less affected by the interface interferences. So in other words, MD split channel estimator can provide very accurate channel estimations. Then we move into the numerical evaluation of the results. We use the so-called Gauss bar distance to evaluate the mapping results. It is a distance that considers all estimation error, this detection, and also false alarms. The parameters are setting as following. And we compare two cases, the 5D SLAM framework with the MD discrete channel estimator, and the 5D SLAM framework with the CPP discrete channel estimator. We started the mapping result, that is to use the real vehicle state instead of particles. From this figure, we could see that the 5D slime frameworks using two different channel estimators provide equivalently accurate mapping results, as the two lines are very similar as each other. For the average execution time per time step of two different channel estimators, the MD is free channel estimator only takes 3.24 seconds, while the CPT excrete channel estimators takes much longer time, that is 8.33 seconds. So overall, we could see that the MD split channel estimator is significantly less complex than the CPT split channel estimator. Then come to our conclusions. Our conclusions are as following. Firstly, the proposed MD split channel estimator can provide very accurate channel estimation results. Then the MD split channel estimator is less complex than the CPT split channel estimator as it takes much shorter time. The end-to-end -end 5D SLAM framework with MD split channel estimators works very well. And finally, we have the 5D SLAM framework with the MD split channel estimator provides equivalently accurate mapping results compared with the framework with the CPT split channel estimator. Thanks for your listening.